Hello BookTube. So I didn't want the events of the past two weeks to go by without coming on this platform and, and talking about it. Uh, I've been much more vocal or active on Facebook and Twitter and following various videos and petitions and donations and just listening and watching the events. Um, but I did want to come on here and say what I feel about it and that yes, Black Lives Matter and yes, this is finally uh, seeing some changes. We need to see changes. It's it's not just an American thing. That's one thing that's been amazing to see, just seeing the world kind of erupt in protests and marches and um, just young voices as well, uh, seeing a change for our future, hopefully. Uh, in some cases, the police have gotten it right talking and listening, but then you see the violence still. Uh, particularly perpetuated by our president, tear-gassing protesters on his way to a photo op at a church. Um, unreal. Unreal. Um, this is not going to help the situation. But getting out there, getting heard, talking, listening to people, learning. Um, I'm still learning. Uh, as a booktuber here, uh, I won't say I, I am a diverse reader by any means. Um, I have looked through my, my uh, back catalog of books and I'd say 90% of the books I read are by white authors. Um, and that's something I do want to change, uh, but I've never consciously thought about it. I just read plots and things that I wanted to or um, based on the interest, you know. Um, but yeah, there's so much more to learn by reading more diversely. And now I see that and I do want to make a change in that. So I don't have a list below of, of books for you to follow. And in all irony, the one book I'm going to mention right here is a book that I read 40 years ago in high school, which I think a lot of us had read, which was To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, a book about racism in the Deep South in the 1930s, told from the point of view of a young girl, uh, Scout Finch, uh, which um, focuses also a lot on her father, Atticus, as he tries to defend a black man who's accused of raping a white woman solely on her word against his. And we still see that today. Well, we still see this injustice. And I remember how angry I felt when I when I read this book and about the situation and how frustrated and hopeless you feel. And you can just you can only just imagine what's going through this this man's um, head. Um, there's a passage within the book where Atticus is talking to Scout and says, first of all, if you can learn a simple trick, Scout, you'll get along a lot better with all kinds of folks. You never really understand a person until you consider things, until you climb into his skin and walk around in it. But as a white person, it's, you know, we have that white privilege um, that our fellow black Americans don't. Uh, you know, to be able to walk into a store and not be looked at as a criminal, followed around because you're wearing a hood or, or a face mask nowadays, um, even though it's required. Uh, I saw a video of, of two young men that went into a store and, and the security guard was following them around wanting them to lower their face mask in a pandemic. Um, I've watched videos, I think it was on Facebook, of a young man just the other day out in front of an apartment building where he lives. And he's a student in the area. And he was picking up garbage. That was one of his student jobs, picking up garbage around the property that said, you know, no trespassing because it's, it's um, for the students only. And a police officer comes by, starts questioning him, wanting to see his ID, asking for his date of birth. And he's like, I'm just picking up garbage. And then the police officer just kept pushing and wanting him to drop this tool he's using, you know, one of those long tools with a little clamp on the end to pick up garbage because he felt threatened by it. It's a weapon. And the guy's like, I'm threatened by you. You've got a gun. Um, this whole situation went on and on and on. The officer is just ridiculous. He calls in backup. Finally, a white man came out to corroborate this man, this young man, and saying, yes, he does live here. Yes, he's a student. Yes, he works here. And the officer believed the white man. Did he ask the white man for any ID? To proof that he was, you know, part of the, the campus or that um, that he lived in this building or anything? No. His word was taken because he was white. This is just, oh, it's so aggravating to watch this. Uh, there was a video in the park with the, the young man who was bird watching and, and Ask the, the white woman with the dog to put her dog on a leash. Simple. Just, it's required. It's... It's, it's a rule in the park to protect the, the bird sanctuary and everything. She's going to hop on a phone and say that she's, feel, she's being threatened by a black man. 
thank God for videos uh, and cameras on phones. Um, and thank God that was captured. Uh, that Unfortunately, uh, a, a, an image I think none of us will ever get out of our head of that smug cop with his knee on George Floyd's neck for eight and a half minutes until he passed away, until he was murdered. Um, oh. Finally, some change with charges against these officers, because they're all complicit. Letting this other officer do what he did and not st stepping in the way. Um, and then finally, with the charges being escalated, at least up to second-degree murder, small little steps. Uh, steps brought about by all the people out there marching and saying, enough is enough. Um, eh. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just, I wanted to come out here, like I said, um, we all can play a part in bringing about a change. Um, for those who are parents raising our children to understand that black lives matter, that we should all treat each other with kindness, with respect, with equality. Um, just listening to, of, you know, the voices out there, um, looking through references. I don't have a list of references. I, if I come across videos and things that I find important, I will put in a link down below if I can get YouTube Studio to cooperate because I'm still having issues with that. But there are many other booktubers out there who I've been watching and who have educated me on other authors as well and, and, and videos and links to follow. Um, but again, you can make your voice heard, participate in a protest, sign a petition, donate to Black Lives Causes, um, and more importantly, this November, get your vote out. Thank you for watching BookTube.